Hi, I'm Irina Wanzu, the team's manager and manufacturing engineer. I'm the design engineer of the team, Amakali. I'm Wen Kistina, the team's resource and marketing manager. And last but not least, I'm Imano Raina, the graphic designer of the team. So without further ado, let's jump right into this, shall we? Curious Racing's mission and vision is to push ourselves beyond our intellectual potential by reflecting creativity and innovative thinking to inspire the youth and raise interest in engineering fields among Malaysia's younger generation. For our team's graphic work and team identity, we ensure them satisfy the three P's, which are professional, presentable, and pleasing to the audience's eyes. Here is Curious Racing's logo. Every detail in our logo has its own meaning. The hexagon shape is probably the most noticeable detail where every size of the hexagon represents an aspect of the team. For the design itself, the upper right half has the curious microstructure incorporated in it as it represents curious. The white curious in the middle represents balance in every aspect of the team. And the bottom left half has seven lines, which not only represents speed in racing, but also the seven looks of the legendary curious Tamming Sari. Why we opted to make Curious our focal point is because we Curious wish to display Malaysia's most unique identity within our team as the Curious represents the highest caliber of Malay ingenuity. Right? Of course. Now, let's move on and talk a little about the team itself and how we manage everything. Well, first of all, we made a timeline. A timeline is crucial to plot when a task is supposed to start and end. As shown in our gun chart, we estimated the duration of each task and activity that will take place throughout the competition and compared them with the actual duration. This will be our long-term time management. As for our short-term time management, we provided a daily planner to ensure that we have a structured daily routine without overworking or slacking off. For general knowledge, the Curtis curves are called looks. Intending to bring the identity of the Curtis, we have used looks as our marketing strategy. L, liaison, where we prioritize communication and close cooperation. U represents unity, as we believe in a strong union between our team and our companions. Speaking of companions, we had the privilege to collaborate with our fellow mates, Interstellar and Lynx Racing, in order to create a podcast entitled The Pit Stop Podcast, where we raise awareness about F1 in schools to a wider audience. Furthermore, K, knowledge, in order to ensure the quality of our end product is substantial. And lastly, S, social networking. Social networking sites are needed in order to attract possible sponsors and supporters. With the amount of 10,000 ringgit channeled to us from Supreme Fintech, it was intended to purchase the F1 in school race control system. Supreme Fintech, a challenger bank in the fintech industry, holds the top hierarchy position in our sponsorship tier, Hang Tua. On the other hand, 3D Gens, a pioneer in digital manufacturing, has helped us in our journey to its own goal of becoming the 2020 national champions. They have agreed in printing our wings and wheel support system. Other than finding sponsors, we have also organized a fundraising campaign that involved the whole school called One School, One Dream. We even managed to collect 1,000 ringgit in just two weeks. But then suddenly, Selangor had to undergo CMCO again. Hence, our marketing activities were affected. We knew that at this point, we couldn't rely solely on sponsors, and we surely couldn't continue One School, One Dream. So we came up with an innovative idea to cover our team expenses by holding an online fundraising campaign called One Hand to Fulfill Four Wishes. We spread the news everywhere. I mean, we were desperate, and as a token of appreciation, we promised an e-certificate for every donation made and a free t-shirt too for donors who donated above 150 ringgit. As for managing our money, we conducted a cost-saving program which overviews our short-term and long-term cost reduction. We believe that this may be able to benefit the team. Also, before everything went into shambles, we had the privilege to collaborate with SMK Section 9 special needs students in order to produce face masks for the student body. We even collaborated with Persatuan Belia Masjid Selangor too to help collect used clothes to be donated to the Aboriginal people, or Orang Asli of Hulu Langat, as one of our marketing activity, Kuris Care. We do all of this and more to ensure the team has enough funds to make our visions a reality. Now, let's talk about the vision Kiss was implying. This is Kuris Racing's Karta Misari, and this is how we designed it. It all started with benchmarking, where we based off of previous team's cars and tried to understand the physics and concepts behind it. Next is research, where we research about some design concepts that we want to apply to our car in order to achieve expeditious results. Then it is finally time to design the car itself. We use Autodesk Inventor to design our car based on our design concepts. Then we analyze our car to find out how the air flowed around it and find out which part of the car needed improvements. Once we were satisfied with our CFD results, we could finally move on to the next phase, which is the manufacturing phase. But let's talk about our car design innovations for our side parts first. One major problem about the side part is that they produce a lot of vacuum, which could result in higher drag. 
to circumvent this quandary, a slate was designed on our side part called Empu, which was inspired by a confluence river to reduce the amount of vacuums on the side parts while obeying the rules and regulation. Consequently, side slits help with decreasing the lift coefficient of the entire car itself, reducing the amount of vacuums on the side parts too, resulting in less drag. Alright, now let's move on to that manufacturing phase Kali's mentioned. For the materials that we opted to use for Tamil's area are pretty standard. We use full ceramic bearings for our bearings, polypropylene for our wheels, nylon for our wings and wheel support system, and not to forget carbon for our axles. As for the machining process, F1 and School was kind enough to mill each team's car body. So the machining method for that is out of the way. As for our other materials, we used the CNC lathing machine for our wheels and an SLS or selective laser sintering machine for our wings and wheel support system. This is where it gets interesting. For our manufacturing innovation this year, we've decided to incorporate carbon fiber material into our car. We did this because based on past things experience, the wings and wheel support system tend to be fragile and risk breaking during the race. So we did this to avoid that by wrapping our wings, wheels, and wheel support system, and even our axles in the material as carbon fiber has numerous benefits. I mean, it's light in weight, yet tensile in strength, and also exceptionally durable. As the team's graphic designer, at first I was uncertain if I could handle the stranger-like softwares involved. But as time went by, I realized that with confidence and the right encouragement, even the impossible can be achieved. I thought research and marketing was all about calling people and sending letters. But then I realized communication is hard. Now, I take rejection as a motivation to do better. As the design engineer, nothing went my way, but then I realized experience and failure was the way to improve myself. Compared to what I was before, there's a magnitude difference in my character. Being a manufacturing engineer and on top of that, a leader figure too can be tough sometimes. Yes, I had my challenges, but it was all worth it in the end. I'm Irina Wanzul. I'm Amar Kali. I'm Wendy Stina. I'm Imanu Raina. And we are... Curious Racing! Yeah!